Frank. Yeah, he does have the light dark nav 5 that we were talking about. We see the Akrama there, um, along with some interesting picks because usually Akrama is used to counter Hathor, but he's picking those two together, maybe. I don't know. But you can see the Josephine and the Juno in his pick, too. But Whoa! Must mean he hates Hathor. Gaia, 73% win rate. That's actually pretty good. Wow, but 73% is insane. Like, that's, that's actually better so than crazy. Mine. Uh, yeah, I was like, can, can, I, can I borrow that for a second? Like, it's actually so good. So I'm actually really excited because it seems like we're really stepping up the level of competition here but he's c3 which means he doesn't play a lot he just play a couple matches win then you know he's done maybe he's just an underachiever yeah i mean I, i'm just, i'm still trying to figure out if this is a fan of gaia or the real one because even the units that he used are very similar to what gaia uses so i'm expecting to see maybe some crit damage supports coming out here um very very interested in seeing like you know how much damage these supports are going to do because that's what you're about to experience right in the rapid okay units that usually don't do huge damage will be critting for a lot if he's going for the gaia build okay but first my favorite part of this competition the, the coin, coin flip all right what will it be? Oh, it's blue. Wait, was it blue the first time? Not red, yeah. by the way. Uh, uh, it was It was blue both times. Okay, all right. Wow, blue is so OP. <laughs> you really have to pick blue. It's clear that blue, le blue needs a nerf. Yeah, I mean, th this is deciding, like, who gets first pick, right? Right, yeah. I mean, this is much more fair than, like, just game deciding because I swear to God, every time the game decides who goes first, the other guy gets it, like, third times in a row. Ooh. Oh, wait, I think it's my mistake. I said C3 and uh, below, but it's actually C3 and above. So oh, oh, I actually oh, made it. Oh, okay. you oh, my bad, my you. bad. My apologies, yeah, sir. B. <laughs> I it might be the true guy out of you. Yeah, that's the real guy. I like it, right? Yeah, that's the real guy right there, as I said. Oh, oh, okay. okay. I, I see that. I see that. Well, those are some high notes. I can't count that. I'm going to have to take my shoes off to count that high. Yeah, I mean, those points definitely looking very fearsome here. But he's going to come in with the Viva Show ban, showing that he's studied his opponent, Frank, here. And now we're just waiting on the timer. That's right. <laughs> I'm betting my coin on the Hathor first pick. What do you bet? Um, from Gaia, no. I don't think Gaia is going to go Hathor first pick. That is not a unit he uses. He's going to be opting for support units. He likes that Vanessa first pick. Um, Frank, I believe this guy, I've seen him in World Boss before. His runes are pretty good. He has some really nice stats. I do not know which Light Dark Nat 5 he has though, besides the Viva Shell. He's taking his time to pick right now. Oh, okay. Okay, well, in case you were wondering. Yeah, there's the Wusa coming in, which is a very questionable first pick. I never see Wusa first That's pick. That's the weirdest yeah. first pick I've ever seen yeah. in my life. But that is because he specifically did that to counter Gaia, because Gaia has one of the best Wusas in the game. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, both players seem like they really do know each other quite well then. Yeah, and then here comes the triple support lineup. This is also very unfamiliar in SWC, so to say. Um, normally, players don't go triple support like this, but for Gaia, it'll work. Because that Triana is on crit damage and it's going to be dealing <laughs> a lot of damage. I'm so excited to see this. I mean, I'm just this is a brand new day for me. I, is this is this the everyday standard for you, Sean B? Um, not the first pick, but the the units are familiar, but not the first pick. Though. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to offend you, Sean, but like you're in C2, right? How often are you pulling Gaia in RTA? <laughs> I mean. Never. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, mean, I, I see him in War Boss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here comes the Onterus and the Daphnis pick coming in, showing a lot of aggression with those two picks right now. However, though, if the Daphnis gets banned out, will the Onterus be able to perform into double immunity and Shihu? What do you think, Sean? I mean, it's gonna be. Oh, okay. now what I think doesn't matter because that unit is gonna surprise everyone right now. Yeah, I mean, the that... unit that is deemed to be the worst. That unit is actually being used in RTA here and there these days. Um, I think it's especially the Japanese players who, are, who have been picking up on it and starting the meta. That unit can actually provide a nice amount of sustain for the team while also having a good amount of damage. So we see the Shiho and the... Uh, what's his face? Abelium. Daphnis. Oh, Daphnis. Yeah, yeah, Daphnis getting banned out. Uh, this will be <laughs> just immunity stacking immunity stacking immunity, right? Like, but to me the thing is, a video doesn't stop you from dying. So <laughs> you can just die, and then he take a turn and heal for nothing. But with immunity and shield on, it's kind of hard to get one shotted, right? That's true, why true. he picked it there. And then there's no armor break, there's no defense buff for the villager to do damage, for a video to do damage. Yeah. So how can he kill through that layer of support? Vertihal, man. You know, Vertihal, just loop around the enemy, do your thing. Go like three turns while the enemy makes some coffee. That's what Vertihal does. <laughs> but then there's Antares to stop <laughs> yeah, that exact true. thing from happening yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, how, how do you stop Antares from doing his thing? We'll, we'll find out. I mean, 
uh, already at least the setup is going very well for Frank. He's gotten that wish of immortality. He's, he's chilling. But how do we get both, both players just so uh, immune <laughs> right now? All right, I take it back. That's Ooh. some legit damage going yeah. on to Vanessa. Yeah, that's okay. really good. The and Vanessa's the, almost dead already. And the mountain from Vert is dead. Take away the Vanessa. Yeah, I want to see this crit damage come through you were talking about, Peter. Um, unfortunately, though, there are so much shields on the field that she's not going to be doing much until we get later on into the game. Yeah. That Vertal proc could be huge if it pops through the Triana, but it does not. And now he needs to decide whether he's going to go ahead and pop the Triana passive or not. He goes for the third skill into the Violent proc. Will he do it here? Okay, the, the Antara is being pretty kind and, you know, chill a little bit here. It's not proc oh, he's saving at it all. up for later. <laughs> he's saving it for later. You know it's coming. All right, here's a Triana proc though. Matters. Crit onto the Vertal for 8.4k. Not more damage than bad. the Antares. Yeah, there's the crit damage Triana that I have been talking about. <laughs> now, he decides to go for the kill on Vanessa and he's gonna get it. That's it. There's no more hammer break. Yeah, I mean, yeah. how are you supposed to get through all of this immunity, shield, healing, like, the, without armor break? It's... I, Antares, come on, it's your time. Okay, he's, he's proccing, he's doing... Oh, Ooh. that was a lot okay, of damage, okay. but the heal gonna come oh, in Oh, the provoke clutch! That provoke was so clutch! Yeah, oh it, my god. It allowed the Vertihal to get a turn right here, right now. And now this Antares is gonna be looking very unhealthy. The second skill, will it be enough to kill? Whoa. That's it! Leaves with oh, that's not HP. it yet! Is that 5%? Doesn't uh, matter. The friend that just, was definitely 5%. It was definitely 5%. Yeah, that's unfortunate right there. But that provoke right there was the most clutch thing I've ever seen. Because if Antares managed to kill Vert right there, I think he can't heal Antares anymore without a turn. Yeah, there might have been a chance for a comeback, but unfortunately, not what happened. And now, even though Antares is Antares, I don't know if I'm a believer. Yeah, oh. this one is looking pretty sketchy because the Antares is going to go down, and Gaia should be conceding here. Now, I feel like what Frank did here was shut down Gaia by simply taking his units away. The Wusa, Velojewel, uh, Vertihal, these are units that Gaia is very familiar with. Mm -hmm. And by taking that away, he forced him to go into like an Antares, less, you know, picks that he's used to, and it worked out. Yeah, I think you could clearly see that Frank had a, a really cool game plan here. And even though I'm excited to see kind of the uh, unique way that Gaia plays, and it's clear that he's an incredibly talented player, uh, didn't work out that game. Yeah, well, I mean, I still believe in him. As you can tell just from his points, this guy is no joke when it comes to RTA. I think not banning Vert might be a mistake because he didn't have any explosive damage to take out Vert early on and letting Vert stay in the game for a long time is not funny at all. But at the same time, to be fair though, his Antares was kind of sitting around, you know, not doing much in the I beginning. I think it's the Provoke right there was so clutch. <laughs> I think yeah. it's the one Provoke, 50%. That was super clutch right there. All right, well, we're getting ready for game number two. This is, once again, another best of three. And I think this is the last one, the one that we have uh, for our uh, our pre-competition. Uh, so this is this could just be it here if Frank takes game number two. I mean, Frank does have his Viva Shell available for picking this time, which is always a good pick. Now, he does have the first pick uh, priority. Will he take the Wusa away again from Gaia? Or is he going to secure one of his own units? Wusa pick. There you go. He knows. He knows what's up. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with it. Back at it again. The new uh, first pick, Woosa. Man, I'm going to have to get used to this. But on the other side, I think Gaia's probably going to go for maybe, you think, just more of the same? Um, Gaia, I, I, I honestly don't know what this guy is going to do because he has so many tricks up his sleeves. But Frank right now going to stick to what worked for him in round one. Going to go Woosa Vela again, even with the Shiho in there. Um, it looks like Diana actually could be a strong pick to last pick for Gaia here. Uh, but we we don't even know if he has one, to be honest. I but, mean, he should. I mean, it's G3. Every G3 has a Diana, I know. I mean, okay, that's true, though. Oh! Now, Molong, which some... was previously pre-banned, is going to oh, be right. coming some, in for Gaia. Someone's stuck in 2017, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Molong, though, I give respect to this unit because people... You have to. As soon yeah. as you stop respecting Molong, your health is just not there anymore. And you're like, <laughs> oh, I probably should have done that. Uh... So it's here. Uh, I don't think that's necessarily something of high enough priority to just be banned. So I think we're probably going to see that come out from Gaia. And the thing is, the Molong counter is not in Frank team anymore. Vanessa Triana is out. 
Yeah, and now Viva Shell though, gonna come in here. Very interesting. Those two units are usually picked together. Now they're gonna be facing each other in the opposing teams. Now what is Gaia gonna do to deal with this? Wow. I actually confused. There are three immunity unit and he's picking a non-stripper. Yeah, and he only has one stripper in there, which is the Molong. I Loki want I Loki want a <laughs> Molong to show up. Yeah, that, that's the category Molong fits into. Yeah. Every time I need a stripper, it's straight to Molong, man. Um <laughs> This, this is, is why I'm, I'm not a the... hundred. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, this is why I'm not quite up there with Guy. I'm almost. I'll, I'll get there eventually. Yeah. So Frank, like I said, literally the only strip that Guy has in his in his uh, side of the field was the Molong. He bans it, which also means he does not need to deal with Reckless. Now, Gaia, you really have to have some crazy build on that John to make this work because HP, you've seen good damage HP, man. Yeah. Yo, damage John right there. Yeah, he does need a crit damage John. Look at how fast that John is. I'm sure Frank is not slow. That John is 20 speed more than them. I've, I'm seeing so many new things today. But what I'm not seeing is really any signs of weakness from Frank. I oh mean, my gosh, that's that sleep is clutch. Now we, we got Triana, we good. We, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, chilling. Okay. It's clutch, but he has so much uh, cleanse. He has three cleansers that whatever sleep he lands is not going to stick throughout the game. Now, I actually do think that Gaia's pick in John was a bit awful. However, he still has a really good chance because of the Vertihal and the crit damage Triana. I Loki wanted a Bulwark on Gaia's team, but I don't know if he has a Bulwark. I mean, Bulwark is a bit of a sketchy unit though, because he's OP, mm -hmm. but as soon as the opponent stops buffing, he he's the reason why you lose the game, you know, because it becomes useless. And now you see the Abelio dealing tons of damage onto that Vertihal, half HP right now, and John just gonna go ahead and use the skill 3 to just get the skill 2 up faster. You see that John doing some damage right there, not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's punching for like how much damage I gotta pay attention. All right, he's I gonna think, I think cleanse. 5k is more than enough to just wear people down at this point. Yeah, I mean, 5k seems to be on crit damage. And it's interesting that you're talking about like wearing people down because I think it's very clear that both, that there's so much sustain, immunity, shields, heals. Um, it's gonna be tough to make a real dent here. So, I mean, what do you do? Just like play the game long enough so that the HP percent is like down by 50% or no, something? No, what you're saying is actually legit because Gaia's game plan into winning this is simply abuse the fact that Vertihal is such a frustrating unit to deal with that when if the opponent has Vertihal and you don't have damage to kill it, you pretty much auto lose. That's how kind of broken he is. But that Viva Shell gonna be on crit damage dealing 6.7k. I like that. Yeah, I definitely do not expect that. Uh, so it's gonna be. I mean, that's kind of what you have to start relying on to start accelerating this. You don't just want to lose to that. But okay, all right, starting to work. That Usa Loki got some half our gene going on right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two times already in the same match. And the Viva Chao is not even sleeping anybody. Yeah, it actually procced it, but it got resisted because I guess, you know, who puts accuracy on Viva Chao, right? Just 15%, for sleep. man. It's, it's, uh, it's all 15%, man. I, I, I don't <laughs> believe that Fran has any resistance whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> and then Fran just gonna put up attack buff. Like I said, Gaia's team is almost unkillable, and this Vertihal is eventually just gonna straight up win the game from. Uh, the advantage of just being a Vertihal. Like, his life is that good. He was born a Vertihal and he just wins everything because of it, you know? <laughs> it's such a simple unit, but it's yeah. so strong. Yeah. Yeah, raising everybody else's attack bar is like a useful talent to have, you it's, know? It's, that's why Ragdoll's OP, you know? And it's in the NAF 4 kit that anyone can have now. Oh yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting that, but uh, you too uh, can experience this in your everyday RTA. Look at that, the revenge is so toxic. <laughs> that revenge right there is the worst thing ever to touch a butter without killing it. Yeah. I don't want to do that. A dish best served cold. All right, all right, but he's a fire vampire, so I don't I know how I think the thing about John is, is keeping the vert pretty healthy all the time. Because they're two I mean, active healer, but the John is always keeping the vert fresh. Hey, hey, even a Perna could have done that, except Perna would be doing more damage, right? This would be <laughs> that, over that, that, already. That's true, that's yeah. true. <laughs> Man, look at this. Just It's so frustrating to try to take Vert out because the more you try, the less it matters. So not only is he going to keep helping his uh, allies heal him up over and over and over again, there's so many heals that it's just always going to be available. And now look, back up to like, a 75% health. because that's what oh, yeah. Fran Vert does, right? I think in this situation, the Harmonia would be better than Viva Chow. You can switch HP right now and destroy Vert in one shot. Yeah, I mean, but you also need to get to Triana, so really, I feel like just... Gaia's lineup is gross, man. You can do that to Triana, too. 
Well, I think Harmonia would be a better choice here because Viva Show is not using her skill 3 at all. Yeah, Viva Show, unfortunately going to be worse than her fire counterpart here. <laughs> the, the Visa not really working this game, right? Uh-oh, the damage though, number one is out. Hey, if you think about it, it's actually kind of sad because Frank's team is four Nat Fives, one of them Light Dark, and look at Gaia's team. He's free they're to play. All, they're all free to play almost. See, that's the lesson right there. You gotta farm more runes. Yeah, runes beats uh, monsters, guys. You can see right here well, let's that... Not, let's not get too ahead of ourselves uh, here, but I, I do think that it's pretty impressive to see what Look Gaia's at this Triana. I'm excited here. right now. See her damage. 10k! Holy! That's what I'm talking Without about. Without armor break. Oh. Yeah. Imagine an armor break right there. That VHL is gone. And the John lands the first provoke of the game, and the provoke was too good that Frank just quits. Well, I mean, Frank was just like, okay, I've got somewhere to be after this. Like, we can't keep playing for another 100 turns. <laughs> I'll be Frank here, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, guy bringing it back, taking us to our second, third game in these best of threes. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that was a much different style uh, of game. What did Frank kind of miss there about what he expected to see? Um, I think he just simply just got... He just lost a Verd. That's all it is, really. I think he focused on the wrong unit too. Might well just take out the Triana. I think he never had a good opportunity to because the Viva Shell didn't have a good chance on it. Yeah. And his main damage dealer was kind of like uh, the Water Druid, right? And Wusa. And yeah. being Wind really kind of deters that. True, true. Okay, well, now we're into our final game of this final preliminary best of three series. Uh, this is part of, like I said, the final round of the Shaolin Cup. It is our predecessor, our pregame, basically, to the main uh, SWC 2019 Asia Pacific Cup. So we're bringing it to an, a, a very climactic close. Oh, oh, now Gaia gonna get his Wusa for okay. the first time. All right. My Wusa now. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as Vanessa's not banned, she's picked. Which means we might see a Molong and the Velajou after this. The Molong is pre-banned, but are what? you are you? Oh, wrong, wrong. He need to pick the better version of it. Yeah, which is Amelio, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not that thing over there. The 2019 version of Ariel, right? <laughs> true, true, true. All right, he he's really thinking about his last pick, and okay. he takes the channel away from Gaia, which I can respect. However, that means Gaia can once again pick the Vertahal that was so gross last game. We'll see whether or not he does decide to pick it. Um, he has so many units available to him right now. He could even go with the Velojewel. But like I said, he's going with that Vertahal. And I, I, I think he's just going to go with the support for the third pick. Yeah, Velojewel. The, the thing is, we're not seeing any CC calm, which is the meta, right? Well, no CC whatsoever. It's just trying to wear people down slowly. Yeah, I think maybe... Uh, I know Gaia doesn't play around with CC. Maybe Frank is also not really a fan of that. And we see that Frank just gonna come in with the Shiho with the Fran. So he has three supports with the Shiho right now, meaning his last pick should ideally be some type of hyper carry as well. And Gaia right now, he sees all those supports in there. Diana kind of seems like a good pick here, but he goes with the John and Ganny, interesting, into that mm, immunity. Ganny makes sense again, but I mean, why why is Jean coming back for an encore? If you ban Vert, that team is kind of... Iffy, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of <laughs> weird to me. <laughs> You're talking about the hyper carry mm. coming through. It makes a lot of sense there, but I think one ban, this is really going to be interesting, because especially after how well Vert performed in that last game, how can you let that through? Yeah, this is a completely a no-brainer Vert ban. If Vert Howl is not banned, Frank just auto-loses, trust me. Okay, well, I'm waiting for it. I, I think it would actually make a ton of sense to see that. And you can ban anything on Frank team, and Frank still have a good team. Yeah, that's true. I think, I mean, if you ban a Diana, that makes a, a little bit less uh, worrisome as far as like when you were talking about the hyper carry, but taking out the Fran. Okay. Uh... And yeah, the no brainer Verd ban. All right, then. So there's not going to be as much immunity coming out on the side of Frank, which makes sense from Gaia, because he does have the Gany and John there. So I believe that was a proper ban. And the Vertahal being banned out as well, going to help out Frank a huge uh, bit here. This Shiho is going to be very fast, faster than even a Wusa because of the speed leader. Yeah, I mean, and now, Shiho is naturally fast, you know. Yeah. And now he's going to go for the strip there. And the Violent Proc, that, if he stuns here. That's some respectable oh. damage, though. Look at turn one, and it's only three quarter HP gone. Yeah. I mean, one quarter. Really good rune quality, right? Violent runes, high damage, high speed. And now this Wusa just going to be going for the crit onto Diana. And Triana right now needs to decide, will he, she put up immunity so that she can be protected from the Ganyan or not? I mean, oh. Okay. Yeah. 
He, he went for it, but he brought out. I swear. Uh, it's like putting your shirt on and be like, I want to change my shirt, take the shirt off. <laughs> yeah, this happens all the time. That's Every time I use her. That's why it takes me so long to leave the house. Yeah. <laughs> but he actually chose not to go for the reset on Triana there. Um, now, John just going to go ahead and probably just punch something. But what is scary right now is that Diana is about to move. And if Diana does Diana things, the game could literally be over right now. We can uh, see and watch. Look at this Diana. Half HP gone. One more violent proc and this thing is gone. Yeah, and the crit coming out from Vanessa. Unfortunately, no armor break. Diana, if you don't proc, then Gaia is fine. All right. Oh, okay. But the shield can proc. Oh, that's some damage. That's some damage, but he's going to lose his turn right now, which means Wusa is going to stay in the match a couple more turns. Yeah, the rune quality on Gaia's Wusa right there should have been paying off big time because the Wusa should have been able to get more sustain. However, the Chiana resisting the armor or the attack bar decrease is so huge because that allows the Wusa to die. Oh boy, he lost the big healer on the team. Yeah, because of the resist on Triana there. Very clutch stuff coming out right now. This is looking very tough for Gaia at the moment. He should be ventilating the uh, Velo Jewel so that he can cleanse the John. But how is he going to kill Diana through Vanessa Triana, right? And Triana just violent proc into a heal ready once again, which means Diana's going to stay a little bit more. Yeah, and it, uh, it, there's a prox coming out of Diana, right? Yeah, uh, I think it's starting to get a little out of control. Yeah, absolutely. Velo Jewel gonna go ahead and t not even get the the, the Diana kill. down, right? Yeah. But the passive from Triana was actually down, so it's pretty unfortunate that it was not able to kill. And the, the, the yeah. All right, Vanessa Frank, Frank is just going to turn every turn here. Yeah, that's not funny yeah, anymore. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's just I think it wasn't very it. fun for Gaia there either at the end. So wow, Frank, the winner. Took him three games, but he made it there in the end. I think game number two was 